Small fish, big whales, Bitcoin in a giant sea of accumulation. So what does that next leg up look like for Bitcoin on the macro? What is up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit that subscribe and like on the way in. Let's jump into this very, very important Bitcoin video. This is on the weekly zoomed out. I'm going to talk about what the next leg up looks like here on the macro charts. I found something very interesting, very, very cool uh, on these charts. We're going to talk about that. Stick around in a couple minutes. Before we do, underlying this is very important. Bitcoin accumulation accelerates among whales and fish while Bitcoin rallies to 40,000. It truly is a giant sea of accumulation lately. We've been talking about that. This is just on-chain sentiment, though. The big question is, how does that correlate to the price action in general? And that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring it all together on those macro charts and talk about that. So let's check this out. After a couple of weeks of data showing that most address buckets are accumulating coins, Bitcoin is finally bouncing back from the $30,000 level, wrote Nick, the author of Ecoin Metrics newsletters, as he highlighted a heat map that witnessed Bitcoin flowing into the small fish and whales wallet. So what's going on here? Check this out. The color red points to a situation in which every group, whales or fish, has accumulated Bitcoin in the past 30 days. Conversely, the color blue corresponds to situations wherein only the smaller fish have accumulated the digital asset in the same time frame. Bitcoin's heat map has returned to red. Everybody's accumulating. Now, check this out. This is probably the most important thing, at least in my view. The beginning of the last bear market, you see in the middle of the chart, blue. It's just small fish accumulating. And, and these on-chain metrics signaled kind of this, this bear market uh, environment. Is that happening right now? No. In fact, the opposite is happening, and we're seeing all around whales and fish both accumulating, whale or many groups of all sizes accumulating, and this is huge. Um, and it just says, when small fish are the only ones who accumulate, it's hard to sustain the price, and that's essentially the bottom line, right? So this is huge on-chain on metrics we've been talking about, but I just think it's visualized so nicely uh, in this chart. So it goes on. Moby Dick's everywhere. Data from other sources match the equine metrics analogy. For instance, crypto-focused data tracking service WhaleMap reported Thursday that the number of unspent transaction outputs currently belonging to Bitcoin whale wallets has spiked, thereby suggesting their intentions to wait for higher prices. So check it out. Large wallet inflows, boom, accumulation, everybody, waiting, holding, accumulating. And that's what's happening. And this is, this is foundational to it, the fundamental backdrop. The fundamentals backing whales' involvement in the current Bitcoin rally pointed to fears of persistently rising inflation despite United States Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's attempts to sideline the issue in his recent press conference on Wednesday. Inflation. By the way, I have an awesome, huge Bitcoin versus inflation video dropping tomorrow, uh, Saturday, July 31st. So, so keep an eye out on that. So how does all of this good, positive on-chain metrics for Bitcoin, how does it correlate? to price and this is this is where we're at and you if you've been watching my youtube channel you know kind of just these fibonacci's these long-term fibonacci's we have you know a bull market high in 2017 down to the bear market low and then we're getting pulled up through this green rectangle the, the 618 to 786 bull market doors and then we're breaking the 1618 line and then we're revisiting that line this is a story that's being told before this even happened, we were anticipating all of this. And the reason why is because historically, this is what has occurred for Bitcoin, wrapping around these halvings, these white lines are the halvings, 2020 halving, 2016 halving. So same thing, 2013 bull market high, down to the 15, 2015 bear market low, up through the 618786 bull market doors, you know it, through the 1618 and back to the 1618. So we're in this very same type of area of revisiting a macro 1618 area. We got the bounce, we got the support, 50, 50 week moving average, kind of confluent with that area, which is cool to see. But I noticed something on these charts, which I really wanted to break down. And that is, if you look at uh, the other kind of things happening on this chart, we have a symmetrical triangle that it's, it gets very easy to forget about this macro symmetrical triangle because that high uh, and the beginning of it is December 2017, like three and a half years ago. And then we have this triangle. So, and you know what? Let me, let me just delete these Fibonacci so we can really actually see the, the setup. So here's a triangle. That's a triangle. 
everybody's kind of tracking it, watching it. We got to kind of that breakout in in last summer area, 2020. We revisited the tre the trend line for a while until the fall. Then we entered the bull market. Now, if we look at the breakout target, we basically I think it's 95 to 100 thousand dollars. So we're right around 100 thousand dollar target up here. Bitcoin on its way. If you notice, we had a very similar setup with this uh, triangle all the way back here, November 13 to Bitcoin breaking that area, right? So this trend line area right here, Bitcoin breaking above it into the bull market then. Now the target, and this is, what's, this is what I noticed on the charts today, the target was right around you know $6,000 or so uh, from the breakout uh, of around $500. Imagine that. And now here we are sitting at 39,000. So breakout's around $6,000, but check, check this out. Let me rechart the Fibonacci's because this is, this is where it all comes together. So here's this Fibonacci, where that 1618 line is, where Bitcoin kind of retraced to. Here's our current Fibonacci, where Bitcoin recently bounced off of. Check this out. From the Fibonacci mid bull market to that target to the upside, you know, right around 240% or so Bitcoin to hit that target. Now, if we take the 1618 line to this target, same type of symmetrical triangle target, check this out, 230%. It's, it's almost the same exact uh, separation from that 1618 line in terms of that target to the upside. So I'm telling you, the more we dig into the, to the data, and I'm not even just talking about on-chain data, but the more we dig into the charting and the technical data, it's crazy to see the synergy and the harmony on these Bitcoin charts. And I should say the consistency on these Bitcoin charts. And, and I say that with caution. There's no guarantee that this repeats itself. But time and time again over the years, as we've been tracking the markets on the short term, the midterm, the long term for Bitcoin, Bitcoin really has been just tracking, right? Tracking, consistently repeating history. And so it's something to be ready for. It's something to keep an eye on as we see all of this Bitcoin accumulation, as we see the giancy of small fish and Bitcoin whales uh, accumulating Bitcoin. You know, and again, be careful out there where we, we continue to track things on the short term. We know what's going on. We know the 20 the week moving average is right here. Uh, finally, Bitcoin getting very close to that 20 week moving average, testing that area around $44,000 is going to be, it's a game changer area for Bitcoin. It's going to really, really decide uh, for a lot of people uh, what type of long term trend Bitcoin is in right now. I maintain my opinion that Bitcoin is in the middle of this bull market. And all the while, I just saw this news, German institutional funds allowed up to 20% in crypto holdings. Experts believe most will approach conservatively and not approach the threshold for several years. And I wanted to highlight that real quick because this is, this is bullish news, right? Institutional funds with fixed investment rules in Germany can now put up to 20% of the holdings in crypto. But this part here, approach conservatively and not approach the threshold for several years. The reason why is because this is just beginning. This is just beginning, everybody. Institutional uh, demand accumulation, the supply shock is what it is. And we're going to talk about that a little bit in tomorrow's video, that Bitcoin versus inflation video that will be coming out. So check that out. So just the beginning, years for several years. So this gives a sense of what is coming and what is getting ready to happen for Bitcoin. So really interesting on-chain metrics mis mixed with this macro view and the next leg up potentially for Bitcoin. Be careful out there. Everybody hit the subscribe, hit that like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.